My name is uh, Winston Wellington, and I'm a chairman of Negro Education Environment Trust. Over the years, traveling through uh, sub saharan Africa, Haiti, and see poverty at its worst state, I um, came back and I said I had to do something because I remember my early beginning. So I started this organization called Negro Education Environment Trust in 2003. When I look around, living in New York City for some 30 odd years, 40 years, I've seen what uh, the restaurants are throw away in, in New York City. And I'm saying, what if what the restaurant threw away could feed half the Caribbean and perhaps part of Africa? And, but anyway, foods are perishable items. And in my travels of jogging in New York City, I see brand new books in the garbage. And I know what a premium they are when I go to Africa or Haiti. People ask me for magazine books and all that. So I started gathering books in my garage. And, and uh, I used to live in Freeport, Long Island. I gather books uh, in my garage, in my office in Brooklyn, until we have stacks and stacks. Then when the books, books started um, going uh, uh, low, there was uh, one of my guests who stayed there, a former teacher from Denver, Colorado. And she stayed in one of those cabins right over there. And she was able to convince uh, Federal Express to ship approximately one million books over a period of 18 months period uh, to this right to my doorstep and I was able to use those books to give to the libraries and the schools around. When that um, situation when uh, Federal Express could not um, do it anymore uh, because of budget problems I started again asking my friends and colleagues around. I've been fortunate enough to have connection with many radio stations in the United States. I go, especially in New York, I go on the radio stations and I appeal to New Yorkers, you give me your used books, your used computers, and that's how it started. I got hooked up with a good friend of mine. He has um, a shipping company called Dennis Shipping, and Dennis ships every book and every computer for me free of cost from both of his offices in Brooklyn and the Bronx and that has allowed me to expand the program. Most of the things I do, I don't do it by myself. I've been, I've been very, very fortunate to have many friends and I have, we, through the hotel, we have done a lot of networking there. People from all over the world who comes here. Uh, right now I have uh, a couple from Canada who is sponsoring um, two children from the school in which I'm pre uh, chairman of, which is St. Paul's Primary. And they've been sponsoring those children from kindergarten all the way up to college level, in which they are heading for college at this moment. So my guest has been just absolutely wonderful. I mean, the guest here at Travis Beaches Hall in terms of giving back, in terms of um, knowing about her program and getting aboard. Just uh, a week before last and last week, there were two uh, different sets of Canadians that came here, and they came with suitcases of books and pencils and crayons and pens and all that. And this has been my story of people just joining forces, seeing the need. Of course, my goal, or uh, what we're trying to do is, we're trying to fight crime through education. By, by getting the youngsters off the street, by making sure that they're computer literate. Uh, right here at our office uh, in the lobby, we have uh, computer classes in which uh, so far we've graduated over 100 teachers, over 100 police officers, who, and every one of those teachers and police officers on graduation, we get a computer to take home as part of our each one teach one program, because that's, that is one of the themes that we use. My goal is to saturate our country with um, with uh, technology in terms of educating, educating, educating. Uh, we also um, teach computer repair classes in the, in that same office in the in the lobby, and we've graduated some uh, 15 youngsters who normally would be at risk in the streets and uh, have graduated from computer class and they are able to build a computer from scratch. Uh, we've also, over the years, uh, graduated a lot of young ladies who are at risk to go into um, some illicit trades. Uh, we've also graduated from computer class and um, they've gotten their computers as well to, as part of our Each One Teach One program. So hence our program has been expanding. Every year during our spring break we have cultural day right here at Travels Beach Resort where we bring in children from uh, different schools and they perform in front of the spring breakers and the spring breakers would then buy a block, um, a building block, um, by writing their names on a building block and we use those blocks to build libraries and so far canteens. And we have such famous people who have uh, passed through and bought a block such as Ziggy Marley, Shaggy, uh, Lady Saw, you name it, all of them, is, uh, Tiffany, all of those have passed through here and they, their names are on some of those blocks we see down there. We've had the Congress lady from the United States who passed through water block and put her name. And these blocks, as you can see, we've used them to, uh, to build in a library as well.
my latest project is that there's no hospital in Negro and I'd like to build a hospital for Negro and negotiating with the government as we speak uh, to uh, come aboard and they have um, g g originally gave me 48 acres but two weeks ago I went to visit the, uh, the land and it was absolutely no good, it was on the mountainside. So they are, at this moment, looking around to find me something else very close to Negro so I can make this happen. I have a partnership with uh, doctors from the Harvard um, um, American Management Group out of Harvard University. And they have uh, say they will build and run the hospital for me for 10 years, then turn it over to us, so they are bored. I have doctors from the University of the West Indies, I have a Caribbean Medical Mission, I have a whole host of people. So we're moving along and trying to make this program. Once I get the land, in three years' time, we'll have a hospital built, and we'll employ over 2,500 persons as part of the world. So those are some of the things that we do to you know, help our organization. And of course, with the help of a lot of generous people, we've been moving in that direction to make things better.